For the fourth time, the acting president, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, hosted the presidential quarterly business forum, attended by members of the executive council and the leadership of the private sector. The nation's tax regime, voluntary assets and income declaration, as well as power, formed the basis for discussion. The Minister of Finance began by hinting that the nation can no longer borrow and so must increase its domestic revenue through tax. We don't have money to actually deliver essential services. There simply isn't enough money in government to do what government should do. And I'm sure you will all say that's because people are stealing or because you're wasting money. And I'm saying even if you plug all the stealing and all the waste, the budget size is not big enough, and that's because we're not paying uh, enough in terms of tax. We can't borrow anymore. We simply have to generate more revenue. We have to plug the leakages. We have to improve tax collection. This administration has shown that it has the capacity and the will to deliver those services. The acting president's urge to the private sector to augment the government's efforts is not entirely new, but if taken seriously, the narrative will change. Despite these problems, progress is still possible, despite the problems. But as we tackle the problems, I mean, it's, it, it's really like, like repairing a car while the engine is running. That's really what we need to do. Now, while this vehicle of ours, this car of ours, is moving forward, we must be doing the repairs at the same time. We cannot fold our arms and say, there's a problem with power. And look at India, 40% of the firms generate their own power. Yet they have the difficulties that we have, but they are making the progress despite those constraints. The way to do it is simply what India and any other country would do, is a commitment to ensuring that we incrementally make this progress. And that commitment must come from government, and must also, of course, come from the private sector. During an interactive session, the Minister of Power, Works and Housing enumerates the kind of changes the power sector recovery plan seeks to achieve, including reinventing the tariff plan. We have set a minimum generation of 4,000 megawatts. I want to stress the operative word there is a minimum. And then we want to also reduce the losses. And the losses come from so many sides. Lack of proper metering, uh, poor equipment, electricity theft, uh, violation and destruction of uh, electricity assets that generally just characterize inefficiencies and lead to inefficiencies in the system. Those are issues that this program seeks to address. The quarterly forum is part of multiple approaches by the federal government to encourage a stable and diversified economy. Gloria Umezuke, Channel Television News. Welcome back. Well, yes, indeed, uh, focusing on economic recovery, we've got uh, Prince David Iweta, who is the chairman, National Economic Recovery Committee. Thank you for coming on this morning. Good morning, thank you. Well, I, I know they did have this ERGP, uh, now they've had this business session, they're talking about steps to take, and uh, the acting president quoted copiously how uh, the economy will bounce back in North. Some say 12, some say 18 months. But you also belong to this Economic Recovery Committee. What kind of considerations uh, come up when you talk about economic recovery? Well, uh, the 